Good morning creators and welcome to another UAFN tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add custom audio into your maps. First, you're going to open up your content browser. You're going to right click and you're going to import. So I'm going to import my audio. One thing that's really important to note is that the Unreal Engine only allows you to import a certain type of audio file. Uh, for example, a WAV file is can be imported, but an MP3 cannot. So if you have an audio file, please convert it to a WAV file. Otherwise, you can't import it and you won't be able to find it. So I'm going to import it. You'll notice I can click on this to listen to it. And click on that to stop it. And with this, you, can, you can't really drop into the game or anything. So you need to use devices to play it inside the game. For example, you have the audio player device, which is pretty simple. It essentially just plays the audio and you'll see if I open this up it has a default audio if I want to add my audio I named it conquest I'm gonna open it up and there's a number of settings within this device like volume visible in game all these are pretty self-explanatory and you, you can experiment with them to see what you want but that's how you add your audio into this device so the cool thing about the audio player is that it can be triggered and it just plays once on the other hand, the radio device, which is designed for music, um, can loop and play at certain moments by itself. So I recommend using the radio device if you're using music in your maps. Um, and to add your audio into here, you can't just search for it. If I search for Conquest, it's not going to show up. You have to add a sound cue. So you're going to create a new sound cue and open it up. and to add your audio, you're just going to go into your content drawer, find it, and drag it in. And connect the output to the output. Now you can add additional nodes here. There's some additional little blueprints you can add in here, but in general, like this is probably all you need at the moment. So I'm just going to save that. And you'll see sound cue is connected to my radio device. So now it will loop as many times as I need it to. And the last way to add audio is into your map is to open up a cinematic sequence device double click on your new level sequence and if you want to track an audio track it's pretty simple you add an audio and you can search for it and you don't have to create in you don't have to create one of these sound cues for it you can just import it like that and you'll see it'll play and you can even track certain aspects of it for example if I expand this you'll see I can change the pitch or the volume for pitch the max pitch is about two um, and the lowest pitch is 0.215 or 1 8th. So you'll see if I do something like this and play it, it'll decrease in pitch. Of course, you can change your volume as well for mixing. Uh, and there's a lot of things you can mess around with, but that's just how you import audio for the basics. If you want an advanced version of this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment any suggestions you have down below. I hope you all have an amazing day and good luck creating.